Develop and deploy an event-driven microservice to PCF. In this section, we will demonstrate how to provision RabbitMQ from the PCF marketplace. We'll be developing producer and consumer applications using Spring Boot. We'll show you how PCF injects runtime arguments into your app for auto configuration. We'll be building our applications using Maven. We'll show how to deploy your applications to PCF without using a manifest YAML file. And finally, we'll see our, we'll our event-driven microservices in action, and we'll see message going through the RabbitMQ dashboard. Provisioning a RabbitMQ message broker from the PCF marketplace. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a RabbitMQ marketplace service. We'll log into the RabbitMQ dashboard and we'll create a queue in the RabbitMQ dashboard. So here we are back in our Pivotal Cloud Foundry web console. We're in our packet-demo org in our development space. And we're going to go ahead and create a RabbitMQ marketplace service instance. As you can see here, I already have mine created. I named mine RabbitMQ, all lowercase. And the plan I selected was the free plan cleverly named Little Lemur. And we have two applications bound to this Cloud AMQP services, service instance, this RabbitMQ service instance. We have our producer and our consumers bound to it. So again, in order to create this marketplace service, you simply go to the Add a Service button here in the top right. And you scroll down until you see Cloud AMQP. Go ahead and select that. Make sure, be very careful to select the free plan. You don't want to end up paying for one of these, accidentally clicking on one of these more expensive plans. Simply just be very careful, select the free plan, click select plan, and give it a name. And it'd be convenient if you named it RabbitMQ in lowercase. And then your instance will be created. And you'll be able to see it here, just like this. Okay. Now that we have provisioned our RabbitMQ, let's go ahead and click on it. Just click there, and in the top right, you'll see a, a button called Manage. Now click on this button. What's going to happen is it's going to, it may prompt you to log in again. That's fine. Go ahead and log in, and it'll bring you to this page with details about your AMQP installation. Now go ahead in the top right, you're going to click on this RabbitMQ Manager button. This is the important part, so click on this button. And this is the RabbitMQ dashboard. And what we're going to do in this dashboard is we're going to create a queue. So go ahead and navigate to queue. And as you can see, I've created a queue named My Queue right here. Simply to create My Queue, you would go to Add Queue. Sorry, you'd Select a name here, call it my queue, just as I've spelt it here, and click add queue, and it'll create this queue. And that's all we need to do. We're done. Once you see your, your queue named my queue here, we're done. You can simply close this window, and we are good to go. To recap, the PCF Marketplace provides fully managed services for our apps with little effort. We can provision RabbitMQ from the PCF Marketplace. Once RabbitMQ is provisioned, we can access the RabbitMQ console to create channels and queues.